Govern me harder, baby. At least that's what they say in New York City. Since 2018, the NYPD has been in an $8 million contract with Voyager Labs. For those who don't fancy government invasion into your privacy, listen up. Voyager Labs claims to offer something more than just surveillance. In fact, they claim their products can predict future crime. The company told the LAPD that, quote, Voyager Discover takes Voyager Analytics abilities a step further, analyzing not only who is most influential, but also who is most invested in a given stance, emotionally, ideologically, and personally. This ability moves the discussion from those who are most engaged online to those most engaged in their hearts. Back the f*** up. The Brennan Center for Justice report makes Voyager Labs sound like a real-life version of Minority Report. The company says its AI can assign risk scores to social media users regarding their, quote, ties to or affinity for Islamic fundamentalism or extremism. According to their website, Voyager Check, quote, provides an automated indication of individuals who may pose a risk. Isn't that just the bee's knees? The government wants to shake a virtual magic eight ball to decide if you're a criminal? Sure, it's not actually putting criminals away for pre-crimes. Yet. But we all know what seems far-fetched today is commonplace just a few years later. Look at all the surveillance we allowed after 9-11. We added the Patriot Act and tortured foreigners all in the name of safety. We locked down society and complied with contact tracing during the COVID-19 pandemic. The people are primed for this type of privacy invasion. The powers that be have just been waiting for the right tech. Vice President for Global Marketing at Voyager Labs told Insider the company uses only publicly available data and that their software, quote, is not intended to be a substitute for rigorous human oversight and analysis. But do we really trust the government to do anything rigorously or to analyze anything thoroughly? Worst of all, this is New York City, the city of stop and frisk. They're not particularly known for respecting your civil liberties or civil rights. You see, it doesn't need to be accurate. It just needs to be used to go after the right political enemies. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. Just imagine if the police start using this tech the way the company intends. How long before it becomes a tool of shutting down political opposition? How long before MAGA and Trump voters are tagged as future criminals? We already have people like Hillary Clinton, who said recently that Trump supporters need deprogrammed. Mm -hmm. And sadly, so many of those extremists, those MAGA extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump. He's only in it for himself. He's now defending himself in civil actions and criminal actions. And when do they break with him? You know, because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members. And don't tell me I'm taking this too far. Just fuse Clinton's fear of Trump supporters' opinions with technology, and you get a dangerous cocktail of authoritarianism just waiting to be executed. During World War II, Democrat President Franklin Delano Roosevelt locked up every Japanese American into an internment camp. Why? Well, because, you know, every Japanese American might be a terrorist. Better to lock up now and say sorry later. And that's exactly what we did. But we won't even need a Pearl Harbor to make it happen this time around. No big scary event needed now. We can just run your identity through an algorithm and poof, the government spooks will determine if you're worthy of humanity. Maybe I'm wearing a tinfoil hat, maybe I'm not, but now is the time to be concerned, not when the tech is already being used. We had the Patriot Act, we had the IRS scandal in 2013 where they audited conservative entities. We saw how January 6th protesters were excessively incarcerated for political reasons. We knew from Edward Snowden that the NSA spies on all Americans like a jealous ex-girlfriend. We know from Julian Assange that the government lies and conducts war crimes. So, to quote Donald Trump, how long is it going to take? You dumb bastards. Thanks for listening to Broad Thinking. Be sure to tune in next Monday night for an all-new episode. In the meantime, follow the Ladies Love Politics channel on TikTok, Instagram, Variety on Social, and YouTube.